Alright guys, what's going on? It's Overlord Tico and we're back and uh, this is going to be part 8 against Shizu and I decided to... Today's already the next day. Yesterday the internet was gone for like 4-5 or five hours so yeah. That was the delay in putting out the video. So anyways, since I'm putting out the videos right as we speak, I'm putting out like part 6 right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play against Ishizu and uh, I decided for Ishizu, I decided I was going to go ahead and just make some changes to this deck. Simply because there's really not much that I want to go against her. Um, I want to take away the Megamorphs, and I think, yeah, oh, no, actually, I want to take away the yeah the Megamorphs, and I want to put three Wastelands. So because I want to turn the field into my Wasteland side, and I think her deck cost is like 862 or something. So I should have no problem, no trouble whatsoever uh, taking her down. So where is the Wasteland? So there we go, 749, uh, I think that's about it, and her field is composed of water, and um, it's composed of water, and Jesus, what am I thinking about? Water and crush field, so anything that's under 1500 is going to be fine, so 749 for deck cost, Shizu Isis, her deck cost is 861, I was thinking 862. So close enough, close enough, we're going to go ahead and play, we're going to go ahead and kick some booty. Whoa. Ugh. Ugh. Man. I just got out of the shower and uh, tomorrow is going to be a long day. Uh, I got to like pack up all my stuff and put it all in my car and figure out how I'm going to fit everything that's in here in my car. Like at least the important stuff like the TV, computer and like the counter where I'm going to put the, the TV and like the computer, uh, like a t table and stuff. Like all that I got to figure out somehow. Um, put that here. I think first things first. Um, Trying to figure this out. This plant. Trying to figure this out. Trying to figure this out. Okay, here, here, here. This should make. This should make like the. Um, okay, I think this is gonna work. Cause it's gonna make that uh, wood uh, wood remain thingies, and then this is gonna make the pumpkin, the king of ghosts. I'm gonna go ahead and place the pumpkin, the king of ghosts, in this wasteland area right here. So it can start powering up every song that I bring out. And I'm fusing as many cards as I can so I can draw into my wastelands and I can play them and turn the, take away the crush shield. And she's using, since she's using water cards, uh, most of them should get weakened by a wasteland field. So that's gonna be the advantage for me. Um, power increase. Uh, okay. Holy crap, dude. What the hell? You know what? I think I got an idea. I'm gonna just power it up all the way as much as I can. Cause this is gonna be funny. Cause if she decides to get close and attack me directly, and I turn the field into wasteland, this is pretty much gonna be game over right there. Cause that card is gonna keep powering up, and I can like one hit K KO one hit her, you know, whatever, whatever that's called. A one hit one hit KO. But I'm probably going to need a. Um, I'm most likely going to need. See, that's what I was saying right there. I see, he's trying to attack me. I need my wasteland. Where the hell is my wasteland, man? I need my wasteland right now. Uh, I was thinking about putting. If I attack and I kill a card, my monster is gonna go. Do I want to take that risk, or do I want to just move back? I want to move back, and I want to go ahead and fuse into another zombie, into another pumpkin. I'm gonna put this pumpkin over here. And I'm gonna put it in defense as well and start powering the other ones up. So 2300 defense. Face up defense in turn. I'm just waiting for that wasteland. Just waiting for that wasteland. And I was also wondering if uh, I would need my ancient tree. I think uh, Isis, Shizu, she might have a mirror wall, but I cannot remember for sure. I can't be sure about this, so you know, I don't know. Man, what's going on here? Alright, I guess I'm gonna try something else now. I'll go ahead and make another... Yeah, I'll go ahead and make another one. I'll fuse both of these into another pumpkin. So I can power it up that one even more. So, I'll move it over here. And assuming she is going to move this down here... Um, or move it here. If she moves it here, then I will pro I could probably win next turn. If I get a wasteland, hopefully. Whatever card that is, is weaker than mine. Because I mean it's it's, in, it's moving around in the crush field, so. There we go. 
Come on, come on, Wasteland, come on, Wasteland. I've already, like, dumped a bunch of cards in my deck. Come on. There we go, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Got 4,500 attack. Jesus, man, what the hell is going on here? Alright, man, this is going to piss me off, but I'm just going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to attack it. I can't allow this to happen. Damn it, I knew it, Mirror Wall. Man, why did I not see that coming? And that card is a baby dragon. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and watch this fight anyways. Mmm, 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 mmm. Alrighty, let's see here. Man. Yeah! Yeah! Baby dragon's gonna go down, son. Baby dragon's going down. No. Wait, why can't I skip this? There you go. I was like trying to press square, skip it. Skip, skip. And <laughs> now. Oh, it's got spell down, so it's still safe. Still safe. Still safe spot. Safe spot. Man, I really need. I mean, need a one of those. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll dump these. And I put down the Temple of Skulls and face up defense. That way, if she decides to play a spell or something, like, it's not gonna work. Temple of Skulls, like, negates all spells as long as it remains face up defense. Man, I was thinking of that mirror wall. I, I just knew it was, like, too good to be true that she was just more like a weak ass card all the way close to me, you know? Like, what are the odds of that happening? Slim to none. Right, and now, I get the little ancient tree of enlightenment, huh? Yeah, like, way later. Alright, so let's dump that. Aw, oh, damn, are you serious? It fuses? Ah, oh, damn, I forgot the Queen of Autumn Leaves. It fuses a plant with any female monster that makes that card. Oh man, that's retarded. Alright, alright, alright. Man. Come on, Wasteland, where are you? I've already gone through half of my deck and I got three of the co three copies of the same card. Man. And this is like this is bad, but imagine how it is in real life. Like when I did that uh I was doing the uh, live play of uh what do you call it? When I was doing the live play of uh Oh man, what's this game I was think I'm thinking about right now? When I was doing the live play of um Jesus man, I'm stuck. When I was doing the live play for Bitter Memories and I was talking about how I was playing the uh, the world ch the national champion and stuff like that and I, I was just drawing like old spells like what are y'all see that happening? Like what are y'all see this crap happening? You know, that's what I'm saying. So Alright, so I just need my ancient tree now. Next turn I'll put that back in defense. Cause I can't attack as long as she has a mirror wall out. You think she can't use any um but no this is a nice try to like good thing she can't use any spells, you know, as soon as I turn that into defense. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Face up, defense. Face up, defense. Move it forward one space. Uh pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. You're going to stay right there. All of you are going to stay right where you are. Let's see if the computer gets a little bit closer trying to attack me. I'm trying to bait it to come closer to me. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> it's like, it's cool, man. I'm not getting close, man. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. La I'm gonna lose if I happen. That happens, you know. It'd be cool if I had like Gorgon's eye or something right now. Alrighty, so I think this card is 3,500. 3,000. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna have to corner that card. I'm gonna attack that first. Boulder Tortoise. Alright, skip battle, skip battle, skip, skip, skip. Alrighty. Uh, so this was already 4100, I'll move it forward two spaces in turn. I'll leave the other one in face up defense so I can keep powering up. 
Oh, the computer goes ahead and plays a card behind him instead of in front of the man. The computer makes like the worst mistakes ever. He just left himself unprotected right in the middle. And he and the computer has no access to spells or traps. It's like, no. Oh, like the only thing they can do is like monster effects and equips. So which one is stronger? Oh well it doesn't matter. Ah, it does matter. Do I got an equip? I don't got any equips. Man, I'm gonna be short 100 points. It's not cool. Oh well. Let's see if there's another card close by that can attack that one. If it is a monster. Yeah. Yeah, big mistake, man. You should have just put it in defense. I'm gonna watch this battle. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not even watching it. I'm just like looking through another thing on my computer. Woo! There you go. Switch to Kratos for the win. Oh. Checking out how much time I got left on my upload for part number six against Labyrinth Ruler. Win! <laughs> oh! Snap! Snap! Virus infection! I don't care! I still win! You know what that means? You know what that means? Overlord Tico is numero uno. <laughs> oh my god. That got. She went down. She went down. And now, the next person that's gonna go down is Richard Slicing of York. Otherwise known, aka Hi Ishin. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Oh man. I hate it when I used to click them all at the same time. I don't almost get three in a row. Like, I've done that before. I think I actually did that, like, re recording a video. I just went like this, boom, and I got three in a row. But you also that happening and I slimmed it on. So, anyways, next part is going to be against uh, Richard Slicing of York. This uh, ugly guy right here. Right there. 1039 dead cost, and it's weird he's weak at this game because I like him in Forbidden Memories. He was tough there, you know. It's weird he's the only person, aside from Simon Muran. I think Simon Muran is supposed to take after uh, from Forbidden Memories, supposed to take after Grandpa. But Richard Slicing or Hayashi or whatever, he's like a, you know, like a unique character to these uh, games. Like he's just there, just like the Mana Without Fab Lead or whatever the final boss. But anyways, that's just. Some random thoughts, so next video is gonna be against him. Catch you guys later.